Bit of chips here, mate. No, I've already eaten. Good stuff, Dan. Oh, I ain't too hungry as happens, but... Nice. Did you, uh, manage to give Mum and Frank some stick today? Don't worry about me, son. I am well and truly defending my corner. Good. Let's see how long that can hold out for. You know why I sold you my half of the pub? Because I knew you could give as good as you got. Mum must be spitting blood. Well, the smile is definitely fading. Just keep grinding them down. Listen, you're going to pop in later? Yeah, I might do. Good, because it'd be nice to have a little bit of support for a change. It's a shame you're not very good at giving support these days. Well, I'll give you a roof over your head, didn't I? Well, why can't you do the same for Lisa? Well, she ditched me. Remember? Right, darling. You happy now your mates are here? Yeah, except my little sister's got left behind. Are you joking? Mm -hmm. Tell me that. Well, she's still in that pub up the road. Apparently she fancies the guy serving her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, Billy. I thought I told you to fetch all our mates from the pub. I did, didn't I, mate? Yeah, all well, except her little sister. How'd you leave her behind? Mm -hmm. Hey, I didn't realise. Get out. What? This is a class joint and you don't belong here. Now go. So you that and you're not well. Get out. Your customers, I believe. I'm in Irish's place now. I've been waiting for you. I want to set you straight about something. Do you realise you've done nothing but hurt Lisa since the day you set eyes on her? Oh, well, do me a favour. Yeah, well, I'm just glad she's done herself a favour. Before it's too late, before she's stuck with a miserable git like you for the rest of Have her life. Have you finished, Mel? You never cared about Lisa or anyone else. In fact, all you've ever been interested in is yourself. I'm under Kathy turned to Grant. You are. Well, no, 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 no. Hey, go on, mate. Yeah, that's right. Go on, throw your weight around, Phil. It's the only way you Mitchells know how to communicate. That's enough, Mel. That's enough. Phil, look, I think you better call it a night, mate. I don't believe I'm hearing this. You're asking me to leave? Phil, look, I don't want any trouble. I just think it would be better off if you went. Not much of best mates, eh? Well, that to be said. No, it never. Now you were bang out of order. Now I want you to finish that drink and go home. Give me another scotch. Make it a large one. What are you doing? Drink yourself to death? I'm going to rubbish you, sir. Shame. I'll have whatever you're having twice. You can buy your own. Is that any way to talk to your best mate? There might be a lot of things, Billy. You ain't my best mate. You reckon? Where'd you get in? Well, uh, did you nick him off the pepper or something? Well, he was going to take him down the nick. But I figured we didn't need the aggro, so I told him they was mine. How come? Well, if they're legit, I'll just tell him I made a mistake. If no one claims them, well, they're probably dodgy, so I'll just... Uh, no, 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 don't do that. Why not? But they're mine, all right? It's nothing, you know. I've just been having a bit of trouble getting off at night, you know. Dr. Rentos should try those for a couple of weeks. It's no big deal. No, no, of course not. I mean, lots of people have the odd sleep this night. Still, uh, rather other people didn't know. My lips are sealed. I'll leave that drink. Billy, I owe you one. Yeah. You do. But I reckon I can get out of it. Cut the teeth. Take it away, please, now. What's up with him? Oh, I don't know. He sat there for our family and touched his food. Maybe his pastor's catching up with him, eh? We had a good night in the Vic for your mum's birthday. Just the tea, please, and save the comments. Fine. All right, Phil? All right, Phil. How's it going, Phil? Wouldn't kill him, would it? Damn people. What can I get you? Actually, I was just looking for my governor. I think we should be getting back. I mean, we've been here ages. I came in for my breakfast. 
Yeah, you ain't even touched it. Yeah, I'm not hungry, I suppose. Well, look, this is when we get back to the club. I mean, there's things to do. Go back when I want it. Careful, careful. I'm all right. Save my life, or you don't do us bacon, Sarney. Covered at home is bare. Sure, two minutes. That's it, boss. You just keep taking deep breaths. It'll pass. Get away from me, will you? Steve? What? I see you. Are you all right? Yeah, of course he's all right. You're all right, aren't you, Steve? Why can't you just leave me alone? Oi! You still owe me for the breakfast! Steve will sort you out with that later, yeah? Yeah, well, what's the matter with him? Nothing. He's fine. Just leave him to me, all right? All right, Jamie. It's it to you. What's your uncle, is it? Yeah. Why'd you hate him so much? It's a long story and it's probably not very interesting. Oh, listen to me. Now, I bored you with my problems yesterday. It's your turn. Do you want a refill in it? No, thanks, sir. You're looking cosy in you, all of a sudden, you and Peggy? Well, she's me mum. You've changed your tune? Yeah, well, I've changed my tune about a lot of things recently. Meaning what? Meaning if I was you, I wouldn't push your luck. Come on! What do you think you're doing? Peggy, butt out of this is not your business. Ricky's family, so I'm making it my business. That's how it works around here. That's touching. What would you know about it? Who's watching your back? Yeah, go on. Take a look around you. I don't see anyone rushing to your defence. Look, I don't have to take this, Peggy. Oh, yes, you do. You've earned it. But then again, if you don't like it, you know where the door is. Oi. I you played it. Yeah, I asked for it. You've been winding me up all night. And you just couldn't let it go, could you? And Ricky's got a lot on his plate at the moment. We all have. Including me. Well, I don't know. I think you've come out of it better than most. Well, it's your idea to sell me off this Yeah, place, well, maybe it? I made a mistake. What? Well, nothing's come out of it except a load of grief. I thought that was the plan. Come to have another go, have you? I want a word. Yeah. You and me both. I, uh... Just acquired some interesting news about you. What? This little uh, card that we got going. Don't know what you're talking about. No, I mean I must admit, mate. I mean I've I've been really puzzled. You know, you and Roy whispering in corners, Roy playing musical cars all round the square. I just got some cars cheap. That's all. And they'll be gone by tomorrow. That's good. Good profit, isn't it? Not bad. Just a one-off. Well, that's all right, isn't it? So tell me, Phil, why do they call it ringing? got the wrong end of the stick. No. No, I don't think so. Janine, just give me the full story. Every last detail. Phil, d don't worry, mate. She ain't gonna say a word unless I tell her otherwise. If you want a piece of the action, you're too late. It'll be all over by tomorrow. I don't want your money. That's the last thing I want. What I'm saying is it must be really difficult, you know what I mean? I mean, not having a clue who knows and who don't. I'll take your franks in on it, yeah? No! God, you have been naughty boys, haven't you, you and Roy? Now, I wonder what he's going to make of it all. Nothing. Because you ain't going to tell him. Sure. Ricky, was he, uh, was he involved? He don't know anything about it. You're going to have trouble there, mate, convincing a jury second offence. No, I mean it. He ought to tell no one, right? Of course not, mate. Evening, Dan. I'll have a pint of your very best orange juice, please. Sorry, mate, not tonight. I'm out. We're looking for Wonder Boys upstairs sulking. What are you trying to pull? Sorry? I just see Mum, she's in the right state. Well, so they won't, really, in black and white. Any chance of a bit of service? I thought I told you I'd lay off that. Hang down to me, she came in guns blazing. Yeah, well, she's gone. She's what? She's gone to Manchester, so it looks like you're lumbered after all. No, there's no way I'm missing tonight. Well, what are you going to do? Are you Terry in charge? Nope. I'm going to leave you. Where are you going? I'm out, mate. I've got a date of a beautiful woman. And you have got a leaky Kazi. Well, don't suppose I could get a teeny weeny little birthday drink. Shut up, Terry. Will you just get my back about this? What have you done to him? I haven't done anything. You must have done something. He wouldn't just steam out of here, would he? Oh, I've had enough of all this anyway. I want to talk to you. I said, I want to talk to you. Phil, just leave it. Now, what happened? Why don't you ask Ricky? I'm asking you now. Tell me what happened. Well, you wouldn't want to do this now in front of everyone here. Yeah, I want to do this right here, right now in front of everyone. I told you, ask Ricky. Now, what did you do to him? Phil! 
It's Ricky. It's been an accident. No, mate, I just want to explain a few things to you, that's all. Not here. Phil, do me a favour and just listen, will you? Lisa's upstairs. Um, I was wondering, if, uh, have you heard anything from Ricky? Oh, right. Um, is your mum back yet? Don't worry about it, I'm going. Your driving instructor's outside. I hope that's not Dutch courage. Of course it's not. Anyway, I don't need any. Lessons are going really well. Good. How's everything with you? Yeah, yeah, good. No problems? No, nothing I can't handle. Look, Phil, I'm not a kid anymore, all right? If you need any help. Is it, Amzer? Is something you could do? Name it. Well, Dan's stuff needs bagging up, and I'm busy later. Where's he moving to? That's his problem. Well, what do you want me to do with all his stuff? <laughs> Whatever you want. Why are you doing this? Whatever's happened, just in the mind. Not even after last week, even though I'm kicking you out. Yeah, well, maybe it's time we moved on, you know? You've got a family coming, you're going to need the room, haven't you? Yeah, well, the trouble is... My gaff ain't the only problem, is it? There's the Vic as well. well what about the Vic? <laughs> it's not exactly working out, is it? You frank the mum. I've really tried to make the peace over there. I've tried really hard, but they just don't want to know. What, getting rid of Ricky? That was trying to make the peace, is it? Look, don't try and put that one on me. That ain't down to me, that. You forced Ricky out of there. You were there day in, day out, rubbing salt into the walls. Yeah, but it weren't me flogging him on his back. OK. The bottom line is, you shouldn't be there. Right, so what do you want me to do? Give the pub back. What to you? I was messed up. Well, I sold it to you. And you took advantage. Oh, come on, I took advantage. What is this, poor Phil? I sold it to you for peanuts. I mean, is that the actions of a Yeah, I man? know, but you was all right about it after, weren't you? In fact, this is the first time in months I've had a peep at you. Yeah, well, I've only just sorted my life out now, mate. Yeah, well, I need that pub. It's my life, Phil. Yeah, well, I'll give you a few grand to tide you over. I can't do it, mate. Peggy's offered me a hundred. Mum can't get that kind of money together, and you know it. Well, then she should have knocked it out to me, shouldn't she? I sold you that pub for five pound. Well, that's tough, mate. Now, I'll give you ten grand. That ain't a bad return for a couple of months. No, I can't do it, mate. Listen, I ain't gonna ask you again. This is the last time. Phil, listen to me. You're wound up and you're worried about Lisa. Do yourself a favour. Go in there and see her and calm down. I want the pub back. You ain't gonna get it back. Oi, oi. I I'm said, you. I want the pup back. You're doing my mum's head in. She's falling apart. Over you there. was the one who wanted to screw her up. So now you've got to pay the consequences, are you? I, I want you. Go back in brass, because I will. I will. The old lot of you. Piggy and Roy. The old scam. Now, I don't think your mum's going to like that, do you? How do you think Lisa's going to feel about it? Now, Phil, I suggest you go in now and you see your girlfriend before you lose that animal.